Hello. All right. I'm going to do a real quick video. That's what I always, that's what I have in my head. I'm going to do a quick video, but these things uh, have a habit of uh, snowballing. Coil relocation for a Sportster. Now, I'm talking 86 Sportster. Uh, I kind of was just tidying things up on my bike and I thought I should do a little, um, a little thing on it. Uh, I've got the custom line that's up on the, uh, on the hoist at the moment. I'm waiting for a transmission pan to come in. That's another video that'll be coming out soon. Um, fucking, it just never ends. Uh, but so far, um, I've made a start on it and uh, it's a real simple thing and I've seen all these brackets available uh, all over the place on eBay and whatever and uh, it's not that hard just to, if you want to do it yourself and save yourself some coin. Um, now, <clears throat> the only thing I really did was take photos uh, of this. I'm not going to put photos up, I'm just going to show you and skip straight to it. So, this here is uh, something like what you'd have and uh, your key would normally be mounted up in here. Uh, with my one, it is anyway. With another couple I've seen, um, it, yeah, used to have something like this. Okay, so your choke would come through, your key, uh, all that sort of stuff. I think your choke and key. Your choke hangs off there somewhere. Um, so what I've done is uh, I scribed a line, uh, obviously where I've cut it, but between the corners, uh, just get a ruler, scribe a line, bang, cut it through there, tidy it up. Uh, I, I haven't tidied it up at the moment, but because uh, obviously I'm just sort of doing a bit of a, uh, this is the assembly before the final assembly, so I'm just getting things in, in place. But um, tidy it up as best you can. Then all you gotta do is, uh, if your coil looks like this, um, this is a bit shitty, uh, but you get the gist. Whatever it looks like, hopefully if it's like this, you can get it to fit. All you do is, uh, once that's cut, you can't get it to work, or you could, but it looks shit uh, with that edge on there. That's why you've got to cut it straight. Put it on there like that. Mark your holes. Then what we're gonna do, drill our holes and run our mounting bolts through, and that's done. Cool relocation you don't have to buy any uh mounts or anything like that that you don't really you don't need now the thing that i'm not going to put in this video is uh key relocation because i haven't got up to that myself um that is way way easier than uh trying to find where to put this big bulky thing as you'd know a lot of the time they're mounted up under here this is a bit custom so it doesn't really look the same but they're they're mounted up under here somewhere uh on a normal sporty so it looks shit uh, wherever it is up there but the key i'm not going to do the relocation of the key in this video simply because uh, it's really easy. You can pretty much mount the key uh, and that anywhere. If you're in the position that I'm in where you've got the bike shipped down. If you're not, uh, you're still gonna be able to find somewhere or make a little bracket for it to work on. Um, so look, we're gonna, I'm just gonna do this really quick and uh, we'll see how we go. All right, I've got me Assistant helping me now. Hi. <laughs> I'm also the cameraman. He's going to be in charge of the camera. Yep. What's that? I don't really know much about Harleys. All right. I know how much CC all these guys. I forgot. I only 
know a few errors. That goes, that yellow one, if you can see it. That goes for like 1700 cc. So, we've got the holes drilled. Um, all we've got to do now is we can use our, well, I don't know if they're original for everyone, but they were the original ones that come on this bike. Uh, the mounts and um, line them up and bang, she's bolted on there. Let's do it, let's make sure. All right, we've drilled our holes, they're done. Um, now, got our coil, we can either mount it through there at the top and uh, mount it like that and it's done. Maybe make a little plate up to go over the, the top of this, uh, something to give it a bit of um, stability, uh, if you know what I mean, just sort of go around this. A little bit of square plate um, we can have it like that or we can mount it underneath like so now if you mount it underneath you'll notice when you go up top it hits on these okay so yeah, that's as far back as you can go if you go underneath you probably want to go back maybe make your holes another five mil back so you can get that butted up close to that um a matter of uh personal preference so uh i will probably just for this stage for this mock-up stage i'm just gonna probably go on top um i may leave it like that if i do leave it like that i'm going to make uh, a plate to go up a big washer just to make it look tidy so you don't all see these all these little bits and pieces it'll um make it a bit more out of the way give me a bit more room to play with me plug leads uh and wiring um hopefully hopefully so yeah uh that's it i'll tighten this up on there and we'll call it a day All right, that's it, all mounted. Um, you, look, as I say, uh, if I decide to leave it there, which I probably will, uh, I'd just make a little plate up uh, as just to be a big washer to cover up all these little divots in there. Um, the only thing is mounting your key again. Uh, I'm not gonna go over that now because I actually haven't decided where I'm putting mine. Look, that's it. I won't ramble on too much. Um, this is just a quick video just to show you that uh, there's a quick way. It doesn't cost anything to be able to remount your coil somewhere other than up the front of the bike where it sticks out like dog's nuts and looks ugly as all shit. Um, well, that's it. Done.